Hello everyone, I'm Paul and welcome to your Legion, CES 2016. We're at the MSI Suite, well, booth, uh, ballroom, whatever we're gonna call, be calling this. It looks like a ballroom, I guess we'll call it a ballroom. And we're gonna look at some of the innovations that MSI has out this year. This happens to be an all-in-one. Now, if you remember last year, we showed you the all-in-one. Vince went ahead and talked about it and showed it to us. And basically, you know, there's not, there's, there was only one thing missing from this all-in-one that would have probably made it some type of, of a killer system. Especially considering, look how much space you're actually saving while you're, you're actually playing or you have it on your desktop. So why don't you come around this way, Rich, and we'll, we'll go ahead and, and show everyone what the new innovation is. Voila. As you can see, what they did was they've added a discrete video card to the back. It's con connected to its own power supply. It is a separate video card. It is being connected in. So let's go ahead and look, take a look at the specs here. Of course, uh, it's an anodized surface, solid aluminum, two-side design, anti-slip silicone feet and that's just basically the the uh the um what do you call itself uh the the actual monitor itself i know i'm i'm kind of uh in a sense getting a little bit tongue-tied here but this actually did win an award and it won an honor uh, honorable mention this year for innovation so along with everything that you see here you got an innovation award an honorable mention for uh, 2016 for innovation. <laughs> now, this does have DDR DDR3, uh, if I'm correct. No, it's actually DDR4 RAM with, uh, and it's at 20, 2133 megahertz. So, from there, let's go ahead and move over to something that looks really cool. Now, last year. MSI came out with an SLI bridge, right? This year, they've come out with a quad SLI bridge. So, as you can see, on the back, we've got the quad SLI, but we also have extra cooling. So once this is plugged in, it's ready to go, and you'll notice that these screws here are adjustable. So. You don't need to be using MSI video cards to use this. You could use a, one of their competitors or another brand if you have quad, quad SLI. And what this will do is this will bring it up a little bit to keep it off your heat pipes. But once you plug this in, you also have additional cooling between the cards from the fan up on top. Great innovation, something that you know we used to fool around with when we were when we were doing mods years ago to give extra cooling between our cards. All right, everyone. So you're familiar with with the uh, MSI lineup of video cards. Now, of course, we have the twi twin frozer coolers. One thing that I was surprised of because I was I was actually a couple of years ago I was actually told by by MSI that they were probably not going to be producing the Lightning version of the 980 Ti. And recently they did come out with the Lightning version of the 980 Ti. Now if you're familiar with their 980, their, uh, their Lightning line, this is overclocked to the max. It, it's got extra power so you can overclock it. So this is one of their, I guess this is, you could call this the competitor to EVGAs. Oh, let's see. Kingpin card. So, as we walk on down, you'll notice that MSI also now has the Seahawk. And the Seahawk is a 980 Ti that has a Corsair cooling system directly on it. So now you got a water-cooled version of the 980 Ti. Of course, this has a rear blower fan on it. And we have a 100, this is 140 it looks like. So 140 or a 120. Uh, top of my head, I don't know. I was 
just not mention it. Understood. <laughs> All right. Well, in any case, this is, let's say it's a 140. 140 fan, so it's going to cool your system down. It's going to cool your video card down. What you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to get better overclocking numbers out of that. Here are some of the mods that, that some people have done for, uh, for uh, MSI. This one is done by Origin. And, of course, these are the SI guys that are, that are using MSI components to, uh, to do their stuff. So this one here is from Origin PC. This one here is from Exotic PC. As you can see, we got the ring fans. Nice, nice separated and straight individually wrapped, uh, individually wrapped cables. And then as we move down, this one is from ABS. And basically this is water cooled and it's got the hard, the hard pipes. They are nice and bent and they're using the gaming M7 and it appears to be a couple 980s. From there, you guys should, should be very familiar with the gaming M7 since I reviewed this when it first came out, the Z170, uh, the Z170, the Z170 motherboards. But there's a couple things that we want to look at which are kind of important for MSI right now. 30 years. So if you take a look at this, we've got a gold PCB motherboard. When's the last time you saw a motherboard with PCB other than maybe blue or black? So we got a gold PCB motherboard. Now this is, of course, you know, just something that if you're, if you're into uh, a little bit of light gaming and stuff that you might want to buy, it's, it, it's, it's a micro, micro uh, ATX board. Then next we have the crate. This is the Crate 30, 30th Anniversary Edition. As you can see, it has the Crate logo on it. It's the white and the black. And if you're familiar with MSI, you know, you'll know that their crate, their crate Edition has been out for about a year to a year and a half now. Moving on forward, we have our Carbon Editions. Now you can see, Carbon Editions, the red's gone here. The red is totally gone. They went to total black black carbon you have you have your uh, armored armored PCI PCI slots PCIe slots sorry old habits die hard there <laughs> yeah armored PCIe slots with this one now let's go over to the next one to the godlike you're gonna notice something different with the godlike every one of the RAM slots is now armored PCIe slots are now armored. As things get heavier, they cause more droop. So with the armor, you're actually gonna get a little better stability with what's going on. So in, in lieu of me having to go up and talking about everything here, of course, these are all MSI partners which have actually made, made different SI, SI systems for MSI. Hey everyone, we're still at the MSI uh, suite here, or ballroom, I guess you want to call it. And I'm with Johan, and Johan is from Toby, and he's got a great technology that he's going to show us for you gamers out there. Now, of course, this technology is on the GT72S Toby laptop. Now, this is going to be about, it's going to come out probably sometime next month, and it's going to be about $2,500, $2,600. So, let us, we'll go ahead and... <laughs> <laughs> Let Johan actually show you how this works. I'm kind of getting tongue-tied, I know. It's getting late, and you can tell, you know when I start getting tired, guys. So let's go ahead and let Johan show us what Toby's all about. Thanks, Paul. So the cool thing with the GT72 Toby is that it has Toby eye tracking built in. Uh, that means that the computer can actually know what you're paying attention to. So what you'll notice is when I look back at the screen here, it's going to light up and the game Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which is one of the new cool games that mm -hmm. have support for this technology. It's gonna unpause. It's now in pause and I look at it and it simply goes straight back because it's no, I'm here. Mm -hmm. So in Syndicate, Ubisoft has done a couple of really cool things. They have a feature of aiming your grapple hook where you're looking. So you see this little LB marker. This is where I can throw my grapple hook. And as I look around the screen here, 
it'll find all the points where I can do, where I can grab it to. Um, this is actually a great addition compared to if you don't have eye tracking, because mm -hmm. without eye tracking, I would have to be swiveling around like this, where to, and it only finds the point here in the middle. But when I'm, as I'm looking around, you see I can look in the whole range here mm -hmm. and find a good place to latch onto and move over. Uh, Ubisoft has done a couple of other really, really cool things as well with, uh, with the eye tracking. One of them is that they really make it for more immersive gaming experience. You'll see here if I, as I come down to the bottom and sneak into this little bit darker courtyard. As I'm looking around here, the, the, the dimness of the screen is actually changing depending on where I'm looking. So if I'm looking outside, that gets, that gets more brighter mm -hmm. and it's hard to see in the dark. If I look down in the dark area, the outside gets overexposed. Uh, for those of you out there who have played the other Assassin's Creed uh, titles, you'll also know that you have these eagle, mo eagle view mode, uh, where you can actually find your enemies, like the red guy over to the left, and mark them, tag them for later use. But when you see, you see the blue policeman out to the left, when I look at him here, boom, up comes the more information about them. So what they've done with the eye tracking here is that, again, I'm targeting and choosing these only by looking at them. Um, so if I walk over to these guys, you'll also, you'll also be able to see that there's a yellow frame there. So I'm actually looking at this big burly guy here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the guy I'm targeting with my gun. But if I look over to the group here, you'll see those are the ones that I target. So I can move, move my target here between these ones and have them individually. So hey, oops, so these guys are actually going away a little bit from me. So. I'll start with shooting the guy over to the right. Uh, there you go. And I'll take somebody to the left here. And you see, I shoot them just by looking at them. Probably time to split here. That was pretty cool. So that's a couple of the features that, mm -hmm. the, that the Ubisoft team has put in. I'm really excited about it. This is their second Assassin's Creed title where they want to use the eye tracking okay. technology. You see more coming. The GT72 is going to be um, is going to be bundling with the assess with the to uh, Tom Clancy division. Okay. With the two of us getting tongue tied here today. Um, <laughs> exactly. So you see there are more and more titles coming. Um, and there we go. Somehow they climbed up on the roof and after me. So that's it. All right, well thank you very much, Johan. Sure thing. All right guys, well, if you like eye tracking and you want to do something different, it's something that you definitely want to look at. Let's go ahead and look at something else that I want to show you guys. And this is another laptop, and most of the, most of the gaming laptops under the MSI line have it. And this is called Nehemic. And we're going to talk to Gabrielle about Nehemic. Gabrielle, can you explain to us what Nehemic is and how it works? Uh, Nahemic is an audio software, audio enhancement software that is dedicated to gamers. Okay. Uh, you have the audio and microphone part that uh, enhance uh, the rendering, so the audio from the game, from the movie, <laughs> from the music, and the microphone part that cleans and enhances your voice on um, Skype or TeamSpeak, for instance. So, now, this interface basically does this come up automatically when you plug something in or is this just part of of the uh, of the the sound system itself um, it's a software that you have to launch okay you have to launch that yeah. <coughs> all right so if you want to take a look at it, you can see that you know we have it'll it'll what it does is it finds seeks out my audio microphone if you have a microphone if you have an, a recorder it'll give you uh, configurations and of course it does have a soundtrack now different things with the soundtrack is when you're playing a game it's going it's going to give you ideas of where things are going so that's nehemic everyone nehemic nehemic <laughs> i got it right that time okay all right everyone last but not least we have another honorable mention for the 2016 innovation award and this will be the MSI Vortex. This is an actual mini computer 
that'll sit right on top of your desktop. If you were familiar with the Nightblade that High Tech Legion reviewed about a year and a year and a half ago, this is the predis this is the next version, and it's a lot better. Basically, of course, you still you're gonna have your your micro your micro setup or your mini ITX setup, but this will this is actually holding at this time dual 950 video card graphics cards. It's got its own own individual cooler in it. You have DDR4 RAM. It does have the Skylake processor. It's Core i7 inside of here. But the greatest thing about this is, it's only about $1,900. Now, okay, you might be saying $1,900. Why? Well, considering what you're getting in it, and you're getting in a small form factor, you don't have to build it yourself. And if you compared it to possibly something that maybe another system integrator is going to create you're about right in line with with where you're going to be if, if you were to do it do it in a, a different way so but what i really like about it is, is it's very cool there's a lot of airflow through it there's good connectivity in the back i'm going to turn this around so you guys could see this um as you can see you got your mouse connectivity this is for your uh, your, your gamepad, HDMI, we have display port, and then underneath, you have two network cables, and then below that, or above it, you'll notice that we also have two display, mini display ports and two Thunderbolts, so you could technically, down here, oh, okay, see? I'm, I thought I had my finger all the way on the bottom. Thank you. <laughs> Down on the bottom here, you can, you'll notice that you have two display port, mini display ports, and two Thunderbolts. So you have a lot of connectivity. You want to you want to hook up multiple monitors and do multiple things with this. You're you're you have the versatility to do it. And I'm gonna just put my microphone up on top of this just so you can hear. It's not very loud. And there's a lot of airflow being pulled in from the bottom and coming out through the sides of the bottom. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for the MSI ballroom this year. I want to say thank you. Stay thirsty, my friends. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.